Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome to another day of May Bible journaling. Today's prompt was supposed to be moth, but I changed it to one of the extra words, which was message. And I substituted that for the word word because some of the translations and versions use that word instead. So I picked James 1 verses 21 through 25 in the NIV. I've already recorded this once and it didn't, I must have pressed the wrong button or something. So it didn't record. So anyways, I've already done the page, but let me read the, um, the passage. So starting in verse 21, therefore get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so pre prevalent, prevalent, and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. I think a lot of times we hear something and then we forget what we just heard. And in scripture, it warns that we should take heed how we listen. And I think what that means for me is when you listen, listen with your heart. Don't just listen with your mechanical ears, but listen with your heart and start to apply what it is that you actually hear. To be blessed in what you do means, to me anyways, it means that If I act on the truth that he shows me, he will show me more. And every time he shows me more truth, I have more to act on. So it's, it's how you grow. It's how you mature. We see a lot of people who are deceived, and some of them even go to church. And I'm not saying that they're not saved, but they may be deceived. And they may think they're doing what the Word teaches, but they may not be doing it. So, I drew these plants... Maybe I didn't draw them in the right order, but I wanted to, <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to depict what it looks like. Plants need food also. They need um, nutrients just like we do. And the word of God for us, it's that food that we need. That's why Jesus called himself the bread and the water because He's the giver of life, and he is the sustainer of life. Anyways, I won't go on and on today because, like I said, I already did the recording once, and um, the page is finished. I just got to go color it, so I'll do that a little later. Um, I wish that you have a productive and blessed day, and that... All would be well with you. These are the end of days and how we walk in what he shows us. I believe it's very important probably now more than ever and also going forward. So anyways, be blessed guys. Be encouraged to walk in the truth that he shows you and myself included. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.